Hey everyone, welcome to Atlas Gaming. I release content every day, and today we're playing Warplanes WW2 Dogfight. Kind of in a pickle here. So the reason is, um, I'm repairing one of these planes. Don't have enough to repair the other one. Basically, right now, we only have one plane. Um, and, and the reason is that we only have one workshop. And so anyway, I was looking at the missions here. And I think what we're going to do is a defensive mission, because I think... From my, my limited experience in this game, that you can do that with one fighter. I, I could do that, I think, with one fighter plane. And so what I'm going to do is, um, up, I talked about this before, but we have 169 silver. We're going to put in an AA gun and try this out. So you can see it just went in right there. And that's it. I mean, that's <laughs> I think that's the best we can do. And so I really feel like this game is trying to back me into a corner um, and to spend money. And let's see, this is also a mobile game. And so, where's my... Hang on a second here, let's... There it is. Premium tokens. So this is also a mobile game, and I'm imagining that part of the mobile platform is that you can uh, watch ads to get in-game currency, right? If you don't have any tokens now, uh, finish any challenges, watch ads, or head to the shop to get tokens. So they really want us to... Well, they, they're trying to monetize their game, right? They need money for making the game. I understand that. Uh, they're not going to get it from me. <laughs> not yet. So let's go ahead and do this uh, defensive mission. It'll also get us some extra silver. Hopefully, we'll be able to repair the bomber. And no. No, we won't. You'll never but... cease to amaze me. To complete this mission by yourself, you must do as follows. You have to defend our flak around the town. You have to focus your fire on the bombers. Engage all enemy fighters. My command is counting on you to succeed. I'm on it. <laughs> I'm on it. Okay, boss. Yeah, he basically just told us we have to defend the flak from the bombers and destroy the fighters. So, I mean, like, are you just telling me, like, just kill everything? Basically, right? That's one thing I'm, I find really annoying about this game is you can't... The, the approach angles are kind of limited. We've got bombers coming in. Into the shots. Destroyed. Where's the bombers? Where are the bombers? I think the flak will probably be able to handle the fighters for the most part if they go over there. It doesn't seem like they're going to, though. Let's hang on a second here. This is this is our Mark One Alpha, so we don't have limited ammo. Um, We've got incoming enemy fighters. Get ready. The Mark II Charlie it has 20 millimeter cannons, and so it has limited ammo. And that's what I was checking out. It looks like they don't have tail gunners, or maybe it's dark, so the tail gunners have limited range. I don't know. There we go. Good. Destroy no. Okay, now destroy the fighter squadron. So, like, four planes is a squadron, I guess, right? But they're, they're calling each plane a squadron as far as the objectives are concerned. I don't like that approach angle. Uh, I don't like this one either, but I'm not going to keep passing it up just because it's not perfect. Need it! Just flying circles here. Hope no one's getting dizzy. 8 out of 16, and then destroy all enemies, secondary objective. So I guess that's kind of weird. They have the secondary objective wrapped up in the, the primary objective. We're going to head over the base, though, because all the bombers are dead. And this way, we'll get cover from our flat guns, the blue things down there. Hopefully. I'm not sure if the fighters will come in this close. They might just stay out there because they're smart. But um, I hope not. Okay, there we go. You can hear the flak. It's being fired. It doesn't really seem to be doing much, if anything. We need to come out and swing wider, I think, and come in behind him. Like this. Evasive maneuvers. Too steep of an angle. I'd essentially be like dive bombing into the ground if I were to have taken that guy. I'm for the shot. Keep it. Got him 
So I was looking at hardcore mode. In this game, there's a hardcore mode. You get um, ex you get like 10 extra prestige points per mission. And there's no auto-aim feature. That would be for... There are a lot of people who could like... Well, not, not in my channel, just in general. The reviews on Steam for Space Commander, a lot of people didn't like the auto-aim feature because it's not like a true dogfight, right? Like whenever I'm aiming at a plane, I'm doing it so well because I'm not doing it. I'm just holding down Q. And then the, the plane automatically aims and leads the target and everything. And so um, that feature, I don't think, was available in Space Commander. And so in this game, for people who didn't like that about Space Commander, they might be interested to know about it here. And so this is what that looks like. Difficult. Here's auto aiming. Just, you just, you just hold it down and press the the left mouse button. I wish that there were throttle in these games. Home net doesn't have a throttle for some reason. So this is not auto aiming. Nice. So primary and secondary Enemy objectives. Yeah, both complete. Very good. Okay, now let's take a look at the financials here. See if see if that was worth it. <laughs> and so our yeah, 324 silver. If we want the bomber, then we have to. Uh, no, we're not going to do it. We're going to do this one. We prepared this plane, sir. It's ready for action. Great. We'll construct another AA gun. And, yeah, daily base operating cost is increasing. We have 55 prestige points. I should have spent some there, but I didn't. I'm going to do some math. Please hold. Well, I'll tell you what. If I would have done the math sooner, I definitely would have spent my prestige points differently. So let's just, so let's look at this. Daily base operating costs. We're going to round this up to 100 bucks, just, just for some easy napkin math here. So $100 uh, daily base operating cost. And right here, so reduces daily base cost by 10% for each skill level. So for, you know, like the, for a, an amount of prestige points, we're basically saving 10 bucks, 10 bucks a day. This is, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Please leave a comment. Tell me if I'm, <laughs> if this napkin math needs, uh, needs to be on paper <laughs> instead of like just basic and quick and dirty. But, um, the silver guarantee 30 per level. So it's kind of at this point, um, it's a no brainer. If I would have, <laughs> if I would have applied a, my brain a little bit sooner, I definitely would have uh, maxed this one out first, but, um, that's cool. So we got that one. Now we have two fighters at our disposal. I think that they're both ready to fly. This one's not. So 51 silver, we're kind of um, at a disadvantage right now. Tons of gold, but again, I mentioned that, I think in the last video, I'm going to hold on to the gold. I could exchange it. Um, right here, we can exchange. But you can see the exchange rates. Um, I don't think they're very favorable. Well, one gold for 15 silver. No, I'm good. I'm going to keep the gold. I think it's harder to get than silver. Silver seems pretty common. It just takes a while. So we're going to do another defensive mission. Same thing. 390 silver this time. Man, I wish I would have done that math sooner, but that's okay. Awaiting orders. We're going to use the, the Hurricane Mark II, Charlie. Boys, here are your objectives for today. Oh, I wish I would have had a bomber for this one. Camp. You have to focus your fire on the bombers. Engage all enemy fighters. My command is counting on you to succeed. What is that? Are these tanks moving in or are they stationary? Oh, that's right. I have to press C to fire these guns. Okay. Hang on a second. Let's change this. Controls. C. I wonder if I could do this. Mouse. Right mouse button is to aim. I use Q, so I'm going to switch this. Replace. Done. And let's go back. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I thought I had fired this or used this plane in a different video. 
Um, but I, I don't think I did. That's the first time using those 20 millimeter cannons. So we're gonna head, actually, let's go check out these ground targets. Are they doing, no, they're not really doing anything, are they? Oh my gosh. And so, I'm interested to see what the cost is for replacing these rounds because I thought I had gone over that before, but like I said, I haven't. Okay, you're hit. A little bit. You're fine. You're fine, bro. Wow. So powerful. Okay, now we have 754 rounds left. So that's that's decent. I think we started with 950. Okay, I'm looking at the upper left. We have one more fighter. Okay, then go get him. And then, so there are ground targets also. We're going to try, see what we can do here. Target in my sights. Target out of action. Now get off me taking too much damage i'm not sure again it's, it's, it comes down to economics right doing like just quick math so at this point our repair bill for this ship is probably around i don't know 70 bucks so it's it's more expensive than completing the secondary objective which will be 50 dollars reward and so it's not wow that was a really maneuverable plane huh and fast but um yeah, so it's not worth taking on the secondary objective with the tactic that I was just using. I'll have to just do one at a time and come in, you know, just, just get one and then... I have him. And then switch. Objective completed. So that's that. We're going to stay on the mission. I'm going to try this out. So 50 silver, 5 prestige points, stay on mission. I'm not sure the best way to do this, but we're going to find out. I'm focusing on this one. Target eliminated. Okay, so that's that's going to be it. <laughs> it's going to take a second. Please hold. I'm focusing on this one. Okay, Escort there's the last one. Shoot, I did. I took fire. another another couple rounds there. I have him. Not the worst thing in the world because we are getting those prestige points, and then eventually, with the prestige point gain, we will reduce our cost so much that. These missions will become finan uh, financially feasible. Got it. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Um, let's look at this. I'm curious. So, that in case, well, I guess for people who uh, followed my my Space Commander War and Trade playthrough, they will definitely know that that's a big part of um, the way I play these games: is the finances, the money, and uh, the economy. Even though. Uh, Space Commander had, I mean, it's war and trade, so there were uh, some some bartering, some trade mechanics in that game. I don't think it's the same here. There is still an economy, right? Even though we're not, we're not, I guess, trading with different stations, trying to make a profit, we are, or I am, still trying to play it to where it's, uh, I mean, e economically feasible, like to where we're making gains in the game. So 126 silver, yeah, definitely not worth. This is the one that I was using just now. Definitely not worth the extra fifty dollars. Um, but now I, I have an idea of the tactics. You just you go in, you auto aim on those ground targets. You fire three rounds from this thing, and then you book it. You you pull the nose up and you uh, get out of their range because it takes three, well, I guess, uh, twelve rounds total, right? Because it takes three shots, which is four shots per shot. <laughs> it's four rounds per shot. So Anyway, that's what it takes, and so now I have a better idea of how to do that. But I'm going to call this one here. This is Warplanes, WW2 Dogfight. I don't know why. Yeah, <laughs> it's fun to say. But thanks for watching Atlas Gaming. I do appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. I release content every day. We'll see you in the next one, or next ones.